Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Donna. We're here with an inspirational message and the astrological weather forecast for today, which is Sun opposite Pluto over the next four days. The Sun and Pluto can butt heads. They can be power struggles, but they can be transformational. You can create something that you never imagined when the, the Sun and Pluto decide to work together instead of of being at odds with one another. So the message of the day is that you have a beautiful chance to heal a relationship in the past with the shaman energy. And shaman is very Plutonian energy. It's, you know, death and rebirth. So for many of you, a relationship that you thought would never be that, you know, that the person would never, never come to you or would never return to you. Um, this person shows up in your life and, you know, your feeling is that it's almost like they burst through the door and they, you know, okay, this is the way it's going to be. And it's almost like they're kind of telling you everything that that they want from the relationship. And your first reaction is going to be, whoa, you know, it's a little strong here. But it really, what we're seeing here, though, is your person is approaching you in a way that seems very intense, because Scorpio energy is intense, Pluto is in Scorpio, but they really want to make things better. And so it's really important to stay in this energy and not overreact, okay? So make sure you stay in shaman energy. Make sure you just hold your emotions Listen to what they have to say because you have a chance to have a very healing energy. The Eight of Pentacles says you're going to learn about something. Something will be revealed to you that will make you very, very happy. So it's almost kind of like when it's almost like when somebody comes up to you and says, I really love you, but you make me crazy. And you go, oh, you really love me. And okay, I make you crazy, but why do I make you crazy? Let's talk about this. What are you talking about? It's really an opportunity in which to have a very beautiful time. The Nine of Pentacles says that whatever energy um, is coming at you, you're going to be like a deer. This very sweet deer, you're gonna be very receptive, very open, and that is the best energy that you can have. When we get the Wheel of Fortune, destiny is stepping in right now, sun opposite Pluto. You may have to make a decision quickly, but don't. it doesn't have to be immediate. It can be up to 25 hours after you hear the proposal, okay? So that's your practical energy. That's your practical message for today. So that is your Sun-Pluto opposition. If you are dealing with somebody who comes at you in a very powerful way, like an authority figure, whatever you do, do not start any fights or any, any things that you know could come back to bite you later. Just don't participate. Smile and just say, oh, I'm really in a hurry, or I hope everything's okay, I hope it works out. Whatever you have to do, just placate the person. And again, if this is a person very close to you, it's beautiful energy because you will come back together with a person after having been separated from them over an ideal, over a thought, over a plan, whether it be time and distance or just a thought process, okay? So I'm really optimistic for this. It's a really transformative, beautiful time. We've just had Venus and Mars in Leo, the hottest romantic day that we've had in years. So everybody's sort of feeling this glow up energy. You know, it's, it's mating and dating season and my friends. So enjoy yourself. The message that I got, the channeled message that came to me this morning was the power of manifesting by taking small actions. And when I say manifesting by taking small actions, I'm talking about no money, no action. It's all your vibration that the most important thing you can do to manifest what you want is to hold yourself in that place of being very, very positive, very knowing that you could get it. And so you say, so Donna, how do we do that? Well, one of my best manifesting tools personally is Pinterest. 
And the reason I say that is I read a book from a metaphysicist, The Laws of Attraction, Florence Scovel Shen in the 1920s, and I read the book a long time ago. So I've had a lot of time to manifest what I want. It's been very successful, very simple, very simple. What I do and what her advice is in the book is you align yourself emotionally first with what it is that you seek to have that you become peaceful with it, that you start to fill out the details of what it looks like. So for instance, if I wanted to have a new car, I would think about how it would feel to drive the car. I would imagine myself in the car. I might go online and look at pictures of cars. I might look at the ratings of the cars. I might um, look at the colors. In other words, actually plan as if you're going to buy it because then spirit says, oh, just a minute, we'll have the money to you. ASAP. And so that is how you manifest over calm waters. One of the other things that Florence Scovel Shen really talks about is the fact that a lot of times people have like a false start. And what that means is that, you know, when we're, say for instance, you're Columbus, you've come across on, on one of the little ships that he brought across the water, that before he got to land, he saw tidbits of trees, tidbits of leaves. Tid so you see signs coming. And a lot of times you don't really understand that it is manifestation that's happening, but you'll get little bitty signs along the way. Oh, I saw that picture three times. I saw that number three times. So that is a sign that you're manifesting. That is my message for the day. Sending you love, send some back. Take care, bye-bye.